They're wrinkled, they're kind of cute, but there's a whole lot more to the Sharpe dogs than meets the eye. This is the Dog Breeds FAQ channel. 10. The Sharpe has a checkered past. Originally, the Sharpe was bred to assist hunters as well as being a guard dog. However, due to dog fighting popularity, the breed spent time as a fighting dog. Breeds began cropping up from the West that outclassed the Sharpe in the fighting arena. As a result, its popularity faded as more effective fighting dogs began to be imported into China. To this day, the Sharpe's reputation has been defined by its history as a gladiator rather than its original hunting and watchdog roles. 9. This breed made it into Guinness The Sharpe made the Guinness Book of World Records for being the rarest dog breed in the world throughout the 60s and 70s. When the Sharpe breed became removed from dogfighting, their numbers began to dwindle. Their failing numbers became compounded when Communist China leveled a heavy tax towards dog owners in the 1940s, decimating the overall amount of breeds within its borders. Because of this, the Sharpe had nearly become extinct. Guinness recorded in 1978 that only 60 Sharpe dogs were left in existence throughout the world. 8. Sharpe extinction was prevented by one man. One Sharpe breeder is responsible for preventing the Sharpe from becoming extinct. That man's name was Matgo Law, who at the time lived in British-controlled Hong Kong and feared the dog's future if Communist China took over. He made a long-term effort to keep the breed from being erased from existence and eventually caught Life magazine's attention. Because of the magazine article about the dog's bleak future, interest in the Sharpe began to be kindled in the Americas. This led to the expansion of the breed, and today it's ranked 50th most popular breed by the American Kennel Club. 7. Sharpe is Chinese for sand skin. The name denotes the rough texture of the breed's short, coarse fur, as well as its saggy folds. Due to the breed's history and the dog's temperament and characteristics, it's earned itself plenty of nicknames over time, among which are nicknames like Sharkskin Dog, the original fighting dog, the oriental gladiator, and the Chinese bulldog. 6. Sharpe Health Issues The biggest health condition brought on by the Sharpe variant in the US was dubbed familial Sharpe fever, a drastic disease causing a host of issues, from fevers to accumulated fluid around its ankles. Research has shown that the same gene mutation that causes the Sharpe's hallmark wrinkles may also be responsible for Sharpe fever. This issue is only found in the Western or US variant of the Sharpe, infecting about 23% of the population. 5. Their wrinkles were meant to protect the dog The idea behind breeding the wrinkles into the breed was to protect the dog from serious injuries while in a dog fight. If another dog grabs a mouthful of skin or wrinkles, their muscle, internal organs or other sensitive areas are spared from being harmed. Today, their wrinkles are a point in care for the dog. Like other folded skin breeds, the wrinkles on their face or other parts of the body need to be kept clean by owners to avoid skin irritations or infections. 4. There are two versions of Sharpe dogs. As the breed began to grow in popularity on the other side of the Pacific, a significant number of breeders from Asia were mixing their Sharpe dogs with other breeds. This is largely due to there not being enough dogs left in the breed to meet the United States demand. This resulted in two separate types of Sharpe dogs. The original article has fewer wrinkles in the face and around its mouth, which is called a bone mouth Sharpe. The American rendition of the breed is referred to as Meat Mouth Sharpe due to the deep fleshy folds around the face and around its eyes. 3. The Introduction of the Mini Sharpe As is the case with many breeds, efforts have been made since hitting the United States to develop a mini version of the Sharpe. Mini Sharpe dogs have thicker folds about the head and are generally around 16 inches tall at the shoulder while regular Sharpe stands at about 18 to 20 inches. 
Though owners find them cute as a button, they're not recognized as their own breed by the AKC. In fact, pursuits frown upon the Sharpe dog's miniature version due to extra health concerns that come with the breed. 2. Sharpe is the singular and plural form of the word. Like the words moose and deer, there is no extra plural form of the breed's name. The plural term for Sharpe is just Sharpe, without the added S, as is common with most breeds or animals. Number 1. The Sharpe is not a first-time buyer dog. Sharpe are dogs that demand respect, are often aloof, stubborn, and are generally independent. Keep its history in mind to figure out why it has its temperament. Traits that breeders of old would concentrate on when breeding a dog for hunting, guarding, and fighting result in a dog needing more care and diligence in the training department. Experienced owners should be the ones picking this breed up, as disaster can strike those who don't put in the time required to properly train the dog from a pup. They can be overprotective about their families when not socialized, so an abundance of socialization is important throughout its early years. Have you ever owned a Sharpe? Or have you ever had any memorable experiences with the breed? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video where you can. It helps us out more than you think. Subscribe to receive the latest videos about some of your most favorite dog breeds. Thanks for watching.